Lights are off. What was that? It looked like someone with a jester hat. Like a jester just ran into me. There goes the creepy toy. Dude, the light switch is on, but the lights are not on. That's awesome. Oh, let's pause for a second. Faye Gilgalad, thank you so much for the raid. Appreciate that. Welcome, all of you. I'm Uncle Douglas, but that'll be Reginald Death Squad, the fourth. This is John's Invincibles, the third. Welcome all of you to the lab. Hope you enjoy your stay entertainments on the way. Crank up the speakers, don't touch the speakers, give away over. Please take a seat, but you'll only need the edge. Mm. A small bit of warning to all of you. We are currently playing our, I think, sixth scary game for October. This is a short game. We just started it. It's like two hours or less in length. And it's supposedly terrifying, and we are recovering because we just had a really bad jump scare. So you, now you know what you're getting into. Welcome. Oh, and that's my heart rate. Okay, she, I guess she just had to poop. Hi, Mutluck. I hope you are having a great night, Smile. Hey, Ken. Welcome back. I am having a great time. Oh, really quick, the plot. Uh, we're a stupid YouTuber, and we went to a haunted place in Russia to prove it's not haunted. We locked ourselves in, and we're going to live here for three days, and it's it's turning out bad. You know, you know how those uh, YouTubers can be. They're the worst. They're stupid. On that note, uh, these are my YouTube channels. You guys should subscribe to both of them. Uh, I, I am twice the YouTuber this guy is. Uh, definitely subscribe to those for uh, quality content daily. Richard? Or should I call you Dick? Thank you! Really starting to like those loud noises, isn't it? Oh, key. With this key, I can open the box. I mean, you're just assuming. From 1950, a loud scandal in an orphanage for orphans. Really, an orphanage for orphans, not an orphanage for people with too many parents. The nurse cruelly mocked the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was open since 1944. Children who were left without parents during the war lived there. I don't want to turn around. What if I just moonwalk around? Can they scare me if I stick my butt into the rooms first? I just gotta go around butt first everywhere. Mm. They're not gonna let me go until they spook me again. <sighs> Key. 
Dear Diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people in them, but they will also help me a lot. Okay. Loading. Night of 58. Wait, so are we... Do we just go back in time? Are we gonna... After a severe thunderstorm, there's no light in the building. Okay, yeah, I don't have my camera. I think I'm one of the people that died in this place, like, way in the past. Um, can I pick up the candle? Oh, I, I've seen this thing in those, um, in some of the Amnesia games. It's one of those weird, like, pocket lamps. I mean, it shouldn't be haunted right now, right? Because we become the ghost. We are phone. <laughs> Children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. Then why did I just hear someone breaking glass? Video game logic chat. This obstruction is physically impassable. We're going to have to find another way. It's just not humanly possible. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant, only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. Was she gonna steal someone else's heart for Ivan? Oh, dead bird. Okay, so there's already birds flying. Oh, oh, the broken glass. It, the bird broke through this window and then just freaking died. Am I supposed to do anything here? Or just objective survive. 3 a.m. Noptun web? Gail, how found am I? Oh my god, I shouldn't have eaten that last Toberone. Choo choo, straight to my thighs. Move. Um, hmm. sure what to do right now, y'all. Get the fire extinguisher? Oh, there's a safe under the desk. Good to know. That's a surprise tool that will help us later. Oh, what's this? Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me, warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid the key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. What an asshole. <laughs> Hi, Neov. A key in the closet. Don't make noise. Everyone's asleep. The key to the safe. The filter is missing and the glass is broken. We worked together with Alexei Sergevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to choose the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake only because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys and Alexei Sergevich will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical report, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. 
Okay, so she's trying to save her son, so she's sneaking people to this back alley doctor so he can harvest their organs. I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. So is he just trying to s steal one kidney from each kid, but this one kid, he's taking the heart? A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives, and he became my favorite because he's so similar to my son, Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet Alexei Sergevich at the shelter where he used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. The day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distra distract them. Did I see someone by the door a second ago? Need to put the gas cylinder under the door and then go back to the classroom. There's a, another gas cylinder right there. So, there's two cylinders and someone else set her up. Or she's tripping and didn't realize she trapped herself like she was seeing things. Okay. Okay. Creepy. Well, now we know what happened here. Oh, hello, spooky note. What up? You were told, crossed out, to get out of here. Leave this place al alone. But think of the views! Like and subscribe. If you and all your ghost friends, like and subscribe. It's locked. There's someone behind it. I don't like that description. It just flat out says in the subtitles there's someone behind it. Hello. Whiskers just poked my arm. Thought a swarm of uh, small bugs were uh, saying hi to my elbow. What up? <sighs> pet you. I just pet you. Oh my gosh, Neoff. Okay, he ran. I tried. He's like, pet me, pet me, pet me, pet me. How dare you? Mm. I wonder if it was the kid that she saw running around that must met, like, sleeping gassed her. Or maybe the doctor never intended on doing the, you know, surgery for the son. And, like, this was to get rid of her back. Like, get rid of her also, so there were no witnesses or something?
Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Spooky enough without having you leap on my back. My heart rate is just currently chip. Chips per minute. Chips helping? Mm. Are you helping? I don't know about that. Time to install a permanent bed for him on the chair's back. That would be an interesting setup. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp, and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water, and she did not wash and did not go to the river. So she stank. One day the older girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands, and poured water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days, and they decided that she was dead. But one night she came back to her pajamas, all wet, and killed everyone who bullied her. Uh, after that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. Was that the girl we saw on the ceiling earlier that scared the crap out of me? How did she get her hands untied? They're still tied to this day. I'm afraid something's gonna make me jump, and I'm just gonna, like, scare Chip. What horror game is this? It's called The Summer of 58. Look at the paper on the floor again. Mm. You were told, crossed out, to get out of here, leave this place alone. Oh wait, I could pick up the paper. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Who? Tell me who are you. Hi, Aizen. Thank you. So am I going to put this paper under the door? Copper. Try writing the letter again. That was the rabbit doll. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me and then I can help you. Someone lost their child? I was a bunch of kids here for like a summer camp. And they were like all killed.
I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. I know. It's creepy, right? What? 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 What was that? I wonder if something spooky happened in front of me and I didn't see it because I was looking down. How to play horror games chat, just like this. That's all you gotta do. Is your name... Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? Why are we turning off the recording when we're seeing, like, par paranormal activity? Bad YouTubing. Bad YouTuber. Yes. Here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things, but my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people will come for me. I wonder if Yakov's still alive, but then the others are dead? Can you guys tell what this is? I think it's someone holding a phone? But who was phone? Ah, oh, the rabbit toy's on the desk. Who are your friends? Why are they here too? Because they're freaking dead, Jim. One of these times we're gonna like be leaning down to put something under the door and the door's just gonna open and something's gonna grab our face and just rip our nose off. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here. That day in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the, the, to whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. That's fine. It's just some guy out for a jog. That's, that's no big deal. He's just jogging. All this was planned by the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? To my left. I, I don't have control right now. It's all her. I saw our director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and I hid. In the morning, I went into the building and found no one, but her, uh, her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden their bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation, only sometimes go into the rooms. Oh, the meat we saw, the dead deer we saw get pulled into the vent? There's like some dude living in the vents eating deer carcasses? Oh, oh.
This building abandoned? Can I get the that building abandoned? Can I get there? That's a lot of ink. Wait, what? It's a picture of like a... What is that, a merry-go-round? Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. Need to tear the boards off the front door. I don't want to go to an abandoned hospital. How to make something scarier. Take something scary, put it in an abandoned hospital. Why did we nail ourselves in here with like five boards? This is the same guy that did not bring candles, lighter, or matches, but he brought five boards and nails and a hammer to seal himself in with his no light. Night number three. Yakov said I could find proof here. Let's take a look around. Why are we here at nighttime? Did we just blow that out, or did someone else just blow that out? I just came here. I need to find proof. Yeah, and I want to leave. I want to come. Why didn't we come here at daytime? Chains. Keep it something out or something in. Chains. This is absolutely impassable. Nothing can get past that. He's here for content that only comes out at night. Oh my god. What? Yeah, he's here. He's here for a spooky time, not a long time. F flute. Look up. I don't want to look up. Up is where the scary is. Something stupid. Wait, what? The floor plan just changed. 1946, after the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An, or An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. 